Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. For today's video, we are going to be doing a Nikola Vucevic Chicago Bulls rebuild. And I will say, man, like when I first saw this trade, um, I thought it was a big time W for the Bulls. So I know a lot of NBA fans out there have like mixed opinions about the assets that were given up to get Vucevic. But to me, in the end of the day, what wins championships is superstars and all-star players. And the Bulls now have two all-star players on their team, right, man? So um, the trade, as we all know, originally was Vucevic in exchange for Wendell Carter. Um, I believe it was two first-round picks unprotected. I don't know if there's any protections on those picks or whatnot. And uh, also, I think Gafford was traded, but he ended up on the Wizards or something. I don't know, man. Pretty much Vucevic, though, is on the Bulls. And Wendell Carter has some picks is over on the Orlando Magic. So, uh... Yeah, when it comes down to it, what I think this trade really does is, for one, Vucevic is not, like, the most athletic player in the world, and that's actually a good thing in his case, because I think his game is actually going to age pretty dang well out there. Um, he is only 30. He's locked up for three seasons on $26 million, which for a 25 and 12 type of guy that shoots, you know, 41% from three, that's definitely a big-time W, if you ask me. But also, when you combine Zach Levine in there, too, uh, what this does is, because, in my opinion, like, Levine and Vucevic, they are second and third options on chance championship teams so you know chicago is a big market team what it's going to do is show you know free agents that they are ready to like go all in and do the moves that are needed to be made to win championships so there might be you know a superstar point guard or somebody out there that wants to sign with this team and play with these two um all-stars on the squad right man so we are going to try to win this team a championship or for today's video if you guys don't mind dropping that like of course 1000 likes is always the goal and of course check out my second channel extra crispy i just did a blake griffin returns to Detroit debut reaction and uh yeah man had some choice words not really I was actually not too upset, upset about it man but let's go ahead and get going on this so looking at the roster right now you know there's quite a few pieces out here to work with man um right now the Bulls are currently 19 and 24 so obviously you want to and we're past the trade deadline so we can't do any more trades so we got to do the right combination of players you know starting five and also bench unit to really optimize this lineup so uh one thing I do notice is obviously there's a lot of big guys on this team and uh, I'm a little torn right here, man, because Lord marketing has been starting the entire season for the Bulls. Averaging like 17 points, shooting pretty nicely out there. Um, but the thing is, is that we now have Daniel Tice as the backup center. So if Lori starts, you know, 7-4 with 6-11 Vucevic, then that means our front court guys off the bench is going to be 6-8 Thaddeus Young and 6-8 Daniel Tice, which like in a small ball world is actually pretty damn cool. Uh, but at the same time, like I I'm wondering if I should do the shift of Thaddeus alongside Vucevic and Laurie Markkinen alongside Daniel Tice. So I'm a little wary about that, man. I might start off with Laurie as the starter, but maybe that changes as things go along. But also, you have a 6'7", Tomas Anronski as the backup point guard. So, I mean, um, despite having maybe being a little undersized, which isn't even really a word you should use anymore in today's NBA, um, you got the height of the point guard spot, right, man? You also got Alfred Kamunu, who we're, uh, we're instantly going to put at the backup small forward position. I do want to start Patrick Williams. Now, in my opinion, Patrick Williams um, optimally is more of a power forward, but I'm going to run him as small forward for right now. But yeah, uh, we'll put Aminu at small forward. He goes up to a 76 overall. We'll help out the defense and stuff in the second unit. Uh, we got Troy Brown, who I honestly think is a pretty solid player. And uh, in my opinion, he was like a steal of a toss-in player, guys. Like straight up, like this guy was like a 10.3 assist type of player last season for the Wizards. And uh, he's only 21. So um even, I, I know the Bulls gave up two first round picks, but at the same time, getting good young players back like that, it's like, okay, well, we'll just pretend that was our pick for this upcoming season. That makes sense, man. Probably not, but it makes sense in my brain, which uh, not a lot of things typically do. I'm just, uh, well, you know, okay. I'm just going to stop talking. Okay, here we go. Um, let's go ahead and look at the lineup. So, Kobe White, Zach Levine, Patrick Williams, they got Thaddeus Young as like the automatic star right there with Vucevic as center. You know what? both getting 29 minutes i'm gonna start thaddeus young and i'm completely okay being roasted people are like no maybe she'll go with laurie marketing but i just i just feel like thaddeus alongside vucevic just makes more sense and laurie marketing alongside daniel tice off the bench makes a lot more sense too man so that's what we're going to go with we got tomas Ronski there too alfred community will probably go with uh yeah nine man rotation i do uh yeah vucevic at 36 37 minutes for zach levine um, let's go ahead and knock a few minutes off right here off these guys. And I want to get a few more to, uh, Patrick Williams. I do want to develop them. And I really think this goes to show too, man. Like, you know, like trading those draft picks away. Um, obviously the Bulls management think that, you know, Patrick, uh, Patrick Williams, like the real deal, right? So, 
Um, that's why they're okay, you know, like just kind of like not getting other rookies in the near future, right, man? Because they got Patrick Williams. They're like, yeah, this is. Have I been calling him Patrick Young the entire video? Who is Patrick Young? Sounds like a baseball player. It's probably like a stripper or something and whatever. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and check out the system for uh, proficiency. So we have Billy Donovan right here, A minus, B plus with a three star grit and grind. Um, I would actually like to go more perimeter centric with this team. Now that we got the shooting at the center spot, obviously Wendell Carter is more of a grit and grind type of center, but Vucevic is more of that offensive oriented guy. So yeah, um, I definitely, it says mismatches in favor of stretch bigs, which we have two, really everybody's a stretch big on this team. Vucevic, Thaddeus Young, Daniel Tice, and Lauren Markin and can all bust that three ball. So yes, we have that going for us. Um, let's also go ahead and check out the uh, shooting tendencies. I want to make sure the guys... Because obviously when you get new players, like the tendencies are not like adjusted for them to play in the offense of the new team they're on. So I want to make sure that this is good. So Zach Levine, I'm actually going to pull him back a little bit to like a 90. And I'm going to pull Vucevic up to an 80 just because, you know, he has this all-star player on his team now. You want to make sure he's utilizing the offense correctly. Um, Thaddeus Young, 55. Yeah, he doesn't want to shoot too much. Um, Patrick Williams at a 65. I'm good with him taking those type of shots. Daniel Tice, I actually want to mind them launching up a little bit more, you know, in the uh, second unit. Sonoronski. Uh, put him at like a 55 that should be good Alfred Camuno I actually kind of like his uh offensive game at times he's pretty much like a spot up three-point shooter but that's all good so yes we have that going for us very nice man and beyond that really the goal this season is just simply make the playoffs 19 and 24 it's obviously a shortened season now but uh we're gonna see if this is enough and then if it's not then obviously we still have the two players out there in Zach Levine and Vucevic and we got some trade assets too where we can bring in a big player come free agency maybe Derrick Rose that would actually be a lot of fun man but uh, let's go ahead and simulate the rest of this NBA season and see what happens. Okay, so a final record of 48 and 33, which gives them six seed in the Eastern Conference. I actually feel like based off the start to the season, that's actually pretty realistic. Obviously, you know, accounting for only being a 72 game season, so whatever that would be uh, winning percentage wise. But that actually seems pretty good, man. So one more game here against the Boston Celtics. Simulate through date and finish the W on the season. LeBron MVP, LaMelo, Spencer Zimbabwe. Okay, obviously we can't see any bowls up in here. We do not. All NBA first, all NBA second, and all NBA third. So complete disrespect to Vucevic and Zach Levine uh, at the end of the day, right, man? But uh, yes, I'm probably in the way. Here we go. We are the sixth seed. Philadelphia 76ers in the first round. But the biggest surprise here is the Magic actually made it to the playoffs. Although I guess I don't know if injuries are turned on for them. So they still got Marco Fultz, Jonathan Isaac, all those guys. So I guess that does make a little bit more sense. Even if, like when you turn injuries on in this game. 2K is so lazy, their development team is that they don't even have the injuries updated. So it's really just pointless in the first place. But uh, let's go to the player stats on the season, guys. So Levine, 28 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists. We actually got Kobe White as the second leading scorer at uh, about 18 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists. And then Vucevic all the way down to 17 points, 13 rebounds per game. So I guess in theory, you know, the consistency is still there. But he is no longer the first option. He probably is more the second option on the team. And with having some more scores on the squad too. But uh, I still think it's a little bit disrespect towards Vucevic. And it could be a bit better than that. Laurie Markkinen was amazing off the bench at about 13 and 6. Patrick at 12 and 4 in his rookie season. Thad Young did very nicely, good all around game. I love his passing and everything. And of course, I always, he's always been a good perimeter defender too. Tice was nice. That rhymed. Sanronski was fine. And on time. I don't know, man. Okay. Uh, first round, we got the Philadelphia 76ers. Let's see how this actually goes. Simulate rounds right here. And, well, we get outed in the first round four games to one to a very good Philadelphia 76ers team. So, okay. I think what we saw in this first season, though, was with this new squad, they're definitely competitive. Like, going from being the 10th seed to the 6th seed and nearly a 50-win team, uh, that's definitely a good start with so much more potential to be had on this team here, man. So, now we go into the offseason, and uh, obviously, like I said, man, we're not going to really have any draft picks or anything, so that's not that big a deal. Staff signing, um, so Billy Donovan, that's fine. I'm going to keep him around. Let's go to the, I, guess, I don't really want to go to the NBA draft because we don't really have draft picks. So, um, yeah, we had a second pick, Javon Duncan. I do not think he's related to Tim, although he's 6'10". So, maybe he is Tim Duncan. We'll pretend he's Tim Duncan. Javon Duncan, welcome to the team. Team player options, uh, that he's young back on $14 million. Little pricey, but he was really good for us, so that's fine. Uh, Sonoromsky, $10 million. I'm actually going to decline that because I think I could sign back for a little bit cheaper. And if not, I can just find somebody else at the point guard spot. But uh, like I was saying too, uh, a, a goal here is to ideally get a superstar point guard. Maybe have Cole Boyd be the backup, right, man? So uh, Troy Brown Jr. was not really in our rotation. I'm going to decline him too. If I can't find something else, I'll obviously bring him back. But uh, I do like his game a lot. It's just like he was not in our rotation. So 
Um, I'd rather see if I can get him for the cheap side of things and use that money somewhere else. So, yeah, we will do that. And uh, qualifying offers, Laurie Markin, if he accepts that, that would be absolutely amazing. Get him for $6 million on the season. And uh, moratorium period. So, point guard-wise, uh, we got some pretty damn solid choices available. We got Drew Holiday, who I actually think fits in really nicely with this team, all things considered. Man, you got Mike Conley out there, was 33 uh spencer dinwiddie kyle lowry derrick rose lou williams so a lot of good guys i love derrick rose i don't know if i want to pay Darryl, derrick rose 15 million dollars though although i guess drew holiday is 28 million dollars himself okay what oh i got some ideas man i got some ideas okay first what i'm going to do is i'm gonna bring back derrick rose as a six man he'll be a six man of this team and then what i'm thinking well, three years, $50 million, that's fine. So we get him. Oh, with have to rights on Lori Markin and Daniel Tice to do so, though. I don't know if I love that. I don't know if I love that. Yeah, let me uh let me pass on that for right now, man. Let me pass on that for right now, man. Uh, let's get out of the moratorium period. Let's get out of there. And then we'll kind of go from there, right? So I I'm waiting to see if anybody actually offers Lori Markin any money. Because at this point, I ain't going to lie. I'm, like, considering trading him away. You know, I'm like considering trading him away. So it's like, do I think I could I could combine Lori Markin with somebody else and get like a uh, like a decent like point guard, like somebody better than Derrick Rose? Do I think I could do that? I do want to get Tice back for eight million dollars. That's just a really good contract. So Lori's getting offered from the Dallas Mavericks. Okay, so we will match that. We agree to Daniel Tice's contract. Okay, good stuff. And it wasn't that large of a contract either. So that does kind of kill our ability to go for Derrick Rose now. Um, we are. A we have about $16 million short there, so that's really not going to happen. So, okay, um, I mean, that was like plan A, so now we got to go to plan B. So, plan B, probably, we got the sign trade with Lori Markin and probably take maybe Kobe White in a trade too and go for like a superstar point guard, which means we're going to need a six-man um, on the team. And at this point, Tomas Sonronski for $5 million, that's really too good to pass up on. So, let's get him back for that. Literally cut his contract in half, but, uh, you know, it's for the sake of the team, right? And beyond that, so we got Al Free Camino, I believe, is still on the team for multiple seasons. So he should still be around. We still got Patrick Williams for our starter. Yeah, Al Free Camino's out there. 76 overall. So, uh, you know, we'll kind of see about him. I might actually go for like a Rudy Gay on a cheap contract right here because we could put him at small four. He could be a beast. Yo, Demarcus Cousins. Hey, we could, if we get Boogie Cousins for a six man, or not for, well, off the bench, I should say, for $4 million. Tice back at power forward. Obviously, we got Vucevic at center. That actually, 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 a nice move, man. It's a really good cheap move too. Let's get all. Let's 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 get all Boogie Cousins. It's a really good contract, obviously, for Boogie these days. Um, so we get him signed up. Yeah, Rudy Gay's gone. Okay, that's not that big a deal. Uh, I will take Andre Iguodala just for like a cheap contract, minimum deal. Sure, why not? See what we can do with him. And beyond that, man, I'm going to simulate to the beginning of the regular season. Check out some trades. Um, I'm not, like, guaranteed to trade Kobe White if the trade's not there. Um, I'm actually happy with how the team is kind of formulated right now. But, like I said, if we can bring in, like, that Chris Paul for, like, a season or two or somebody like that, maybe a Kemba Walker, um, that would be something to consider trying to make that championship run. So, I'll see you guys at the beginning of the regular season. Okay, so this is the team as right now, guys, on paper. It does look fantastic. We still got that. It's young Daniel Tice out there. Uh, Boogie Cousins. So what I am going to do is check out some trades here for Laurie Markkinen. So yeah, we will do a trade of Laurie, Kobe White. We cannot trade this year's first round pick because of the Stefan rule. We could trade, I guess, the 2025th pick if we want to go that route. So maybe we'll just see what's offered up with it, man. And we'll see what's uh, given right here. So obviously looking for the future point guard of this team. And if you know that's got to be Kobe White, that's completely fine too, man. But uh, we got Kemba Walker and Robert Williams. That's a nice little trade. Um, Kemba is, oh, he's got that player option. I was going to say, if it was an expiring deal, that'd be kind of a little bit better for us. But he's also down to an 84 overall. So he's actually not progressing very nicely in this game. Here we got Rudy Gobert, Jordan Clark, Montrez, and Kyle. We got Sabonis, Karis LeVert, OG, and Fred Van Vliet. Okay, so, oh, yo, cat. No, I can't do that, man. I mean, I could, but I'm not going to. So not really in love with any of these trades, to be 100% honest. Uh, let's check out some other point guards, though, man. Maybe we got, got to toss up some other pieces. So, uh, we got Darius Garland, Kemba Walker we saw. Let's see if there's any other, like, basic Kemba Walker trades that might be worth doing. And, nope, not liking any of those. That's for damn sure. Uh, John Brown would be amazing, but that's uh, not going to happen. Chris Paul. So, he's on the Miami Heat now, actually, man. 
and uh, no offers for him which makes sense we got lamello i know there was talks of lonzo to the bulls so maybe we can get him for uh the cheap side of things assuming he's yo what, what do y'all want for D uh, derrick rose zach levine vucevic laurie demark hey 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 there we go there we go Got to give up a future first round pick, but uh, getting Derrick Rose, you know, back on the team, it's not for that much either. Like, DeMarcus Cousins, I don't absolutely want to trade him, but it's at the same time, it's not that big a deal. I'd rather have Derrick Rose, to be 100% honest. Uh, let's do it, man. Let's get D Rose back on the Chicago Bulls, and then we'll keep Kobe White around, and that'll, that'll be okay. Because we got the veteran off the bench that can, like, help close out games and stuff. And then we got Tice as center. Uh, we have James Ennis on the team, who's fine. Uh, Sonoransky's there, too. Who, I guess, in theory, we'll do this. We'll put Sonoransky as a backup shooting guard, which uh, he's played before for this team, I believe. So, yeah, we'll do that. He goes to an A9 overall. Uh, put you right there for Iguodala's natural position, of course. Okay, so Thaddeus, D. Rose, Sonoransky, Daniel Tice. I really like that lineup, man. That is a beastly lineup. So, yeah, let's get uh, more minutes to D. Rose, though. Get him at, like, 27-ish minutes. There we go. I want D. Rose playing more than, uh... Yo, I don't know what happened right there. Okay, so that's fine. Lowry at 29. Do I want to do the same thing as before where I used him on the bench? Um, because his scoring, on, his scoring on the bench was actually pretty valuable to us the last season. So, I think I'm going to go with that route again, too. We'll go with that route. And, uh, you know, this gives us a little more size off the bench, too, man. So, give him to, like, 26. You at 26. That's fine. And, uh, okay, 27 for you. Patrick at 31. Kobe at 27. Vucevic and Levine still uh, playing a ton of minutes. So, that's nice to see. All right. I like this team, man. You know, again, Derrick Rose is just going to bring that culture and just, like, that vibe to the team that uh, they might be missing out on. Beyond that, we didn't do, like, too many changes, to be honest. But uh, the trades just weren't really there. Like, I don't want to give up Kobe White and Lowry. Just for just to like give them up. Like they're still good basketball players, no doubt. So uh yeah, let's go ahead and simulate the second NBA season. See what we have. Then at that point we can make any sort of adjustments going into a third season. Unless we can win the championship this year. I don't see why not, man. We were 50 wins last year, and that was uh after starting with 19 and 24. So let's simulate this season and see what happens. So this team literally started off on fire, guys. They went they started like 17 and 3, and then they really like tapered off down to 46 and 35. So uh, quite honestly, not happy about that really, but still six seed in the conference. I was just hoping that maybe again Derrick Rose would add a little something extra to this team. But uh, yo, we got Ben Simmons MVP. I have never seen that in this game before. Jalen Suggs, rookie of the year. Yo, good for that man. So uh yeah, I mean anything happened in the playoffs. I'm just not really too happy with how it all turned out um in the end of the day. But uh we're the no, we're the fourth seed, so okay. We can definitely make some noise out there doing that. Let's go to the player stats on the season though. And uh, we got Levine at 18, Vucevic at 17 and 12. I don't know why he can't become a 20 point per game scorer in this game. D Rose was amazing, 17 and 6. So uh, happy about that. And, you know, Kobe White's numbers were down a little bit, but obviously he was playing lesser minutes on the season too. Um, Lord Markin had at about 12 points per game, 7 for Thaddeus Young. He's up to an 85 overall now. So uh, he'll definitely have a little bit more trade value. Although I can't even really think what position I really want all that bad at the moment. But, you know, we'll see. Um, I mean, maybe we win the playoffs here, and that's just it, right? So here we go. Toronto Raptors, simulate round. I think we can beat them. And uh, we do four games to one. And luckily, Ben Simmons was knocked out in the first round to Bradley Beal and Russell Westbrook and the Washington Wizards. Bad thing about that, obviously, is that uh, we have to play them now, right? So, okay, what I think I'm going to do is because I really want Vucevic to be utilized more in this offense is I'm going to up his shot tendency um, right up there with Zach Levine. So he's taking a bit more shots. Um, and he's in the lineup with Lowry starting. So let's, uh, I think that is his starting, isn't he? Which he doesn't really shoot that much. But let's knock down Lowry a little bit. Kobe White a little bit too. There he goes. Hopefully Vucevic is utilized a bit more now in the offense. We got the Washington Wizards. Simulate round right here. And, ooh, seven game series, man. But we get the W out there. We got 27, 4, and 6 for Zach Levine. 19 and 11 for Vucevic on that game. This dude has got to stop shooting threes though, man. One for eight. What's going on? Yo, got Kawhi Leonard on the Washington Wizards? You got Kawhi Leonard? Oh, okay. It makes a lot more sense now why, why they beat the 76ers. It makes no damn sense why they were an eight seed. And you got Cade Cunningham. So you got Cade, Beal, and Kawhi, and you were the eight seed in the Eastern Conference. Great job, 2K. That's that uh, good realism right there, man. Simulate round here against Brooklyn, and we lose to them four games to two. So Vucevic did drop 28 that game. We got 35 for Harden um pelicans nets in the finals okay so let's do one more season here guys see if we can really pull things together i don't think we have any big contracts off the books i don't know what, i don't know what levine's contract situation is 
But uh, yeah, we'll go straight to rookie signing here. Although I think we had a first round pick. Yeah, Isaiah Todd. Uh, yeah, we'll get him. I think he was in the G League, isn't he? Team player option, Kobe White, Bag, Patrick Bag, and Tim Duncan. Bag on the team. Okay, qualifying offers. Nobody. Okay, uh, free agency. I'm sure Bulls fans just got mad about that. But, uh, so we got a little money up in here to spend. I mean, Thaddeus Young is off the books now. I'm not paying Thaddeus $18 million at the age of 34, man. I'm just not doing that. So, uh, what I think I will do is... Chris Boucher would be kind of nice. Play that center power forward position just like Daniel Tice. So uh, I can shoot the three really nicely. Let's get Chris Boucher. Let's get Chris Boucher. I think he'd be a nice little fit on this team here. Ooh, yo, Zach Levine's off the books too, man. Damn, bro. Oh, we got to get Levine back. Oh, I hope I can. Where's he at? Do we got rights to him? Okay, we do have the rights. I was about to say, man. So... We obviously got to give him a nice little payday. He's only 27 at this point. That's crazy. So give him his payday. Okay, so he agrees to that. Five-year, $198 million. I think he's totally been worth it. So, okay, so he signed up, and that kind of hurts our ability to uh, get Chris Boucher now. But, uh, Dave, there's, like, no centers here that I want. I don't want any of these guys, really. Oh, boy. Uh, Robert Covington, is he good in 2K yet? Jamichael, I thought it was Jeff Green. I was like, how is Jeff Green still 32? He's been 32 for 10 years now. Um... I'm going to get Robert Covington with the hope that he's not a 2K curse still. Because, like, last year he was, like, one of the worst players to use in 2K. So, hopefully he's not that. But, hopefully he could be our Thaddeus Young replacement. Um, and beyond that, man, I'm going to simulate to the beginning of the regular season. And, once again, probably check out some trades. Okay, so that is the same starting five as of right now, man. Obviously, our bench unit are looking like this. Um, I still want to get, like, that third big three-piece on this team. I don't know if I'll be able to do it, though, man. It's been hard finding, like, good, solid trades. So, once again, Lord Marketing, Kobe White. I'm tossing a future first-round pick again. We'll see what's offered up. And that's what I'm talking about, man. That is what I am talking about, man. That is what I'm talking about. MVP Ben Simmons. We're going to get MVP Ben Simmons right now in Philly. Or, I'm uh, well, from Philly, I should say. Darius Garland, Jerry Allen, not bad. Kemba Walker, no. Holy shoot. Oh, okay. Is it bad I don't really want Russell Westbrook? <laughs> Is it bad that I'm like, we'll just take Ja, like you can keep Russell. It's nice, man. I've never seen actual John Moran be offered up in this game before. So that's pretty cool, actually, man. Um, checking out some more trades here. Damn, that was a <laughs> that was a crazy looking trade. Julius Randle. We got Clay Thompson, okay. So, obviously, the Ben Simmons trade's really nice. Lori Marketing, Kobe White for him. Or we could do John Rant, Russell Westbrook, and we got to toss in James Ennis. So, I mean, Russell is 34. We could just use him off the bench, and nobody can get that mad about it. Or we could do a small ball lineup, too, with Russell at the two, Zach Levine at the three. You know what, man? I'm getting crazy with it. For one, that's a just too good a trade to pass up on. Okay, so we got to get crazy with it now, man. So, Patrick at power forward. That's fine. Levine at small forward. He stays as an 89 overall. Russell at the 2 goes to an 87. We got Derrick Rose for a backup point guard. Dear God, this is crazy. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I like it. <laughs> I think I like it. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> okay. We still got our bench units. Hey, shout out to Wayne Ellington, man. He's on the team now. Um... We're going to rock with them, man. We are going to rock and roll with this lineup and just see what happens. It could end horribly. This could really end horribly. Or we just broke the game or we're going to go 8 2 0. I don't know, man. John Rand's fantastic. Russell Westbrook. I could flip him for something else. Let me see what else we can get for Russell, guys. We'll, 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 we'll pretend it was a three team trade. We are going to pretend it was a three, a three team trade. I cannot keep Russell on this team. In good faith, man. I just can't do it. I just cannot do it. It just does not make any sense. So I'm going to look for a power forward for Russell Westbrook. And because I'm nice, I will also toss in Isaiah Todd. And we'll see what's offered up there. So Tobias Harris, I already really like that trade. And we get Shake Milton. Fantastic, man. Kemba Walker, still don't need him. Lori Marketing, let's do it. <laughs> John Collins and Clint Capella. Don't really need Clint. Don't really need Clint. Uh, Bam out of bio. Hey, there we go. There we go. Okay. Yo, Russell's got that insane trade value on this game. Yo, we can get uh, Tyrese and De'Aaron Fox. Oh, my God. Um, 
two K's uh, trades at times is a little sketchy, man. But uh, you know, when, to, when, when, when I'm the team doing the trade, you know, it's okay. I'll take it. All right, what was the trade I really liked? Um, I like Bam out of bio. I feel like him alongside Vucevic would actually just kind of work in Jeremy Lamb for scoring. Let's do that, man. We'll do that. Okay, so Bam out of bio. Now on the team, we will put him at power four. Goes up to a 92 overall player. I think he instantly just became the best player on our team. There we have it, man. Chicago Bulls Nation. I got you guys. I got you guys. Um, we'll put Lamb as a backup small forward. That should work. Or he might try starting, which we don't really need that. But uh, he might try, man. He might try. And yeah, we got Tice still there. And Robert Covington don't even need to play, man. So there we go. There's no curse if you don't play. Uh, beyond that, we are good to go. This team is amazing. This is one of the best teams I've built this year, guys. Let's go ahead and simulate this season and see what happens. Okay, so we are a 50-win team this season, which is good for first in the Eastern Conference, which goes to show that it was probably a really close race because usually, like, 50 wins is good for, like, the fourth seed now, isn't it? So one more game here, finishing the L on the season. Uh, we got, hey, look at that. Russell Westbrook and a six-man on the Miami Heat. You love to see it, man. Proving us all wrong out here, or at least me in this particular video. So we got all NBA team about uh, Jalen and Cade making that. That goes to show just like the depth of this uh, next NBA draft class. But yes, we are second in the conference. So LaMelo and the Charlotte Hornets are number one. We got the Atlanta Hawks in the first round. Uh, let's go to these player stats on the season though. And we got Zach at 22. We got 21 this time for Vucevic breaking that 20 point, um, you know, barrier out there. Ja at 17 with 11 assists. Bam Adebayo was amazing. 13 for Derrick Rose, 13 for Patrick Williams. All right, so, um, I mean, the team, as expected, was really freaking good. Uh, so here we go. First round, Atlanta Hawks. Simulate round right here, and we win four games to two. Okay, there we go, man. 26, 14, and 9 for Vucevic. Love the nine assists, 13 assists for John Morant. Next up, we got Phillies. MVP Ben Simmons. Simulate round right here, and... Lo and behold, we lost in the second round. Thank you, 2TK, for that one. Uh, but don't worry, the eighth seed is in the Eastern Conference Finals again. So, damn it, Russell. <laughs> you would beat me in this video. Okay, well, I kind of deserved it. I traded him away like that, bro. Like, I didn't even think about it. I just literally just traded him away. Okay, so, um, we did not win a championship. But... I think the team I built was freaking amazing. So that's that 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 is my standard in these videos now is how good is the end product? Because 2K is gonna be 2K, man. But uh Bam, Levine, Morant, Vucevic, Patrick Williams, D Rose. Don't get much better than that. Apparently it does because we lost, but uh it's all good. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed. Be sure to drop that like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and peace out, my friends.